I spent $250 and got zero in return. We're going to talk about that among some other things today. Hey there, you're coming back to the channel. Welcome back to the Crib, Big Baby. As always, you know, it is absolutely great to see you. Hope that you and your family are well and certainly hope that your business is prospering. If this is your first time coming to this channel, well, let me introduce myself. My name is Kenny. A lot of people call me Uncle Kenny, but that's a long story. Either way, thank you. I appreciate you being here. Good to see you and nice to meet you as well. If you would, hit that subscribe button. Now, if you want to be notified when I come out with some new videos, you certainly will want to hit the notification bell. By all means, hit the like button and share the channel. So, I spent $250 and got zero in return. Let's talk about that. By the way, September 14, 2021. This month is moving along quick. I put on my glasses. I want to make sure I'm reading this email properly. Hey, Uncle Kenny, I enjoy your videos. I recently spent $250 in one week on YouTube for consultation, and I feel I got nothing in return. What should I do now? Signed, do not say my name. <laughs> do not say my name. All right, I won't say your name. I'll call you Joe Blow. All right, uh, let's see. What do I want to start? I've got, well, first of all, I have not been pumping out a lot of videos, so I want to get caught up. So I'm going to start trying to uh, put more videos out so we can just kind of get caught up. But um, I got a lot of emails, comments, and I want to address some of them. I'll, I'll try to address some of them today. So to you, sir. You spent $250 and one week for consultations from people here on YouTube. 250 bucks, if you spent that every week, that's about 1,000 a month, 12,000 over a year. I'm not sure if you if that's a revolving uh, $250 a week, if that was a one-off and or if that was $50 for five different people. Um, I don't tell people what to do with their business, but you did ask for my opinion. So, First, I would say it was only 250 bucks. If you felt like you didn't get an ROI return on your investment, chalk it up to the game and say, hey, it could have been worse. It was only 250 bucks. But it's going to be hard for me to really give you a uh, in-depth uh, response to the email without knowing what you were told uh, in those consultations. Uh, there are some that I would think give good information in the consultations. Um, but as in anything, there's some people that were maybe giving bad advice or bad information. Um, I'm going to share with you and with all of you something my mentor has shared with me. My mentor, and, and he probably won't mind me sharing this, is 72 years old. I've been knowing him for years, for about 26 years now. And he is a very, very, very accomplished man, businessman. Um, but I'm and I'm looking over here at, at some of the notes, but I'm looking at something he has told me, and it may help you all. Um, I used to laugh when I hear people would do something that I didn't think was smart, and. My mentor is a Christian man, and I'm, I'm working to be a better Christian man, but he would tell me, don't laugh at what people may or may not know. They may not know, and then um, it is your job to try to educate someone who may not know. So I want to say that, um, and I'm not making fun of anybody. I'm just going to share what I've been told and what I apply to all my business ventures. So... First of all, he said that you can hear everybody. I mean, you really can. You, you got two ears. You can hear everybody, but you only listen to those with credentials. You can hear everybody, but listen to only those with credentials. I thought that was pretty key. Um, but here's some other things he shared with me over the years. Save your money. 
Never save more than you can afford to save. If you save money and you have to go back and get some every week, that you, you, you can't afford to save that. So never save more than you can afford to save. Get rid of all debt. Can't stress that enough. Debt is never good. Debt, wealth, success doesn't connect. It doesn't go together. Do not be concerned about what other people may say and or think. Always get ROI, return on investment. Know when to buy, know when to sell. I think we were specifically talking one day about stocks, but know when to buy, know when to sell. Remember that. Surround yourself with people in position where you want to be. But specifically surround yourself with strong, minded, educated people, diverse team. And my mentor said a lot over the years, but I, I always keep that list with me every day. Every day. Research. And he also said something to me recently. He says, Kenny, do not ever be in a hurry to do anything. Specifically, don't be in a hurry to make a decision because in most cases, 99.9% .9 of the times when you make a a decision and it is a quick decision under pressure distress or what have you uh, in most cases the outcome are never good okay so I wanted to just share that with you guys before I dive in $250 I don't know what the mentor told you so it would be unfair for me to say don't listen to that person, but I, I do adopt the motto of I hear everybody, but I only listen to people with credentials. That that has worked time and time for me. So send me another email with a little bit more details. But if you felt you didn't get a value, uh, it didn't help grow your business. If that's what the, the consultation was for business, then chalk it up as a loss. Uh, it was only 250 bucks, man. You'll bounce back. And send me an email and, and, and I will try to get some information, whatever you need to help you out. And of course, I'm not going to charge you anything. All right. So <clears throat> put my glasses back on. Got another question. Who's the best dispatcher for box trucks? I would tell you respectfully, and I'm not being funny when I say this, but I would say get a mirror and look in it. You are the best dispatcher for box trucks. There's nobody better than you. Nobody. I, I hear the same thing. You know, well, you know, brokers don't want to work with new authorities. Well, hell, a lot of them don't want to work with old authorities. That's, that's just the real. Pick up the phone and call. They can only say two things, one or two things, yes or no. And none of them are going to always say yes. None of them are certainly not going to always say no. Let's pick up the phone. You are the best dispatcher. There's a lot of um, quote unquote box truck dispatchers out there just not doing a good job. And more than likely, they don't want to dispatch you. If, if, if I call a dispatcher now and they know I have a CDL, they're going to say, why not attract the trailer? That doesn't mean there's no money in box truck. It's mean it's easier for them to book you on a, on a semi. They would rather do that. And of course, it's more money for them. And in most cases, they're going to do exactly what you're going to do. Look at a load board, right? So you are the best dispatcher, in my opinion. Can you get a dispatcher? Absolutely. Wanted to have a dispatcher, but I would suggest, don't tell you what to do. I would suggest try to book as many loads for yourself as you possibly can. Save that 10%, if not more. Same thing with factoring. You know, listen, you shouldn't be in business if you can't be in business, meaning if you don't have any money saved up, you shouldn't come out here yet. Save your money. When you get some money, then come out here. And you can eliminate that, you know, three, four, five percent, whatever they're charging you. And a lot of them are going to withhold a percentage of your money till they get paid. Uh, not all, but some. So, you know, if you feel you need one for, I don't know, everybody's, you know, is different. 
and where they are. Uh, but you want to certainly try to wean yourself off of that as soon as possible if you have a disp if you have a, a factoring company. But you are the best dispatcher, in my opinion. I hope that answered your question, and I hope it helped. All right. Um, I don't want to keep you guys too long today. I want to move as quick as possible. When I did that video about I will sell my I want to I'm going to sell my box truck. I had 49 emails. 39 of them were saying, oh, man, what happened? I'm sorry to hear that. What's wrong? You're not going to sell that truck, man. You're going to be able to sell it. And you're certainly not going to get that price. That's too much. That was the emails that I got. And I am not mad at anybody. You are entitled to your opinion. But as I said at the beginning of this video, hear everybody. And I heard all of you. But listen to those, only listen to those with credentials. And that's what I did. And we sold the box truck. So let me take you back. When I, before I bought my box truck, and I can't remember what I shared with you guys in previous videos, but I know I told you that semis will make more money, but I didn't like driving semis, didn't like uh, sleeping in a truck and, you know, living uh, at truck stops and all of that. I said I'd rather do a box truck because I'd prefer to drive a box truck. I know it's not as much money, but I can be profitable the way I want to be profitable. And I'm going to stay in a hotel every night. I think I've said that. So I, I, I don't want to be a hypocrite. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to remember everything I've said in previous videos so you can go back and fact check me. But I've always believed that there was more money in semi. So let me take you back. Before I bought my box truck, I met with my advisors, my financial advisors, my CPA, my mentor. I met with my, my team, my partner, my wife, and we had a discussion. Uh, and my financial advisors are diverse in the businesses that I am interested in investing in. Let me say that again. My financial advisors are experienced, I should say, in all um, the ventures that I'm involved in, business ventures. And if I'm looking at something that they are not, they will recommend another advisor that's that has experience in that lane. So again, I hear everybody, but I listen to those with credentials. This is what I do, not telling you what to do. But long story short, we met, and our first initial consultation, if you want to call it that, um, they said, why a box truck? What is a box truck? They didn't even know what a box truck was. I mean, they knew box truck, but they, they didn't know a lot about it. They knew 18 wheelers, semis, because that's what they see on the road every day. And they hear it makes a lot of money. So they brought in another advisor who has experience in transportation. And they said, give us a week, Kenny. Let us let us do some more research and let's 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 talk. I like that. When somebody give me an answer just like that, I'm leery about it because you haven't done any research. You know, so where's that information? Where's that answer? Well, information that you're providing me, where's that coming from? Where are you getting that data from? Right. So they told me, give us a week or so. Let us look into this. They called me back into the office and they said, buy it and buy it fast. Buy it and buy it fast. That's what they told me on the box truck. Buy it and buy it fast. And I said, really? I said, they said, yeah, buy it and buy it fast. I said, well, what makes you say that? I said, well, why do you want to get it? I said, well, I know it's money in transportation because I've driven for driven trucks before, company-owned driver, and I know it's money in transportation. They said, but why box truck? Why are you saying box truck? Now, mind you, they're telling me buy it and buy it fast. I said, well, I know this is something I can do, and I can be profitable. And they said, let's stop right there. They said, because the very first thing you want to do, and I mentioned this in a, a video I did a few days ago, do you see yourself doing this yourself? Doing it yourself. I don't believe you invest in anything that you don't know anything about. Now, there are some. I do believe investing in other people's dream, depending on what it is. But I see myself doing it. I see myself doing it long term. And would I be okay with the lifestyle? Meaning on the road, driving every day. That's the lifestyle. So they said, here's why we're saying buy, buy it fast. All the research shows that this market is growing. 
and it's growing fast. And it's getting to the point to where you're not going to be able to get box trucks. As a matter of fact, they told me a year ago that Mack Trucks was going to get heavily involved in box trucks. Mac. Go check that out yourself. You can just hear me but not listen. <laughs> Go check that out. Why would they be doing that? Mack trucks, you see a lot of dump trucks, right? Why would they be doing that? Well, follow along here. They said one of the new people on the consulting team, you know, and, and my financial advisor said, there's been over 600 new videos, new channels popping up every day on YouTube regarding box trucks and yeah, Amazon, right? Everybody. And they said, but Kenny, 85%, these are real research fact numbers, 85% are renting. That was the number back then. I don't know what it is now. 85% are renting. Throwing money in the wind. 85%. And I said, okay. Man, that means there's some good money. Is, it's good money in box truck, but that's not where we're going. The market is not going to be able to keep up with that. I said, well, what do you mean? These companies that rent trucks are no longer going to have trucks for customers who just want to rent for moves or what have you. They're not going to have the trucks, right? And so they're going to start raising the price. Remember, some places you could rent a truck for $200 a day, maybe even less. So they start raising the prices. And they got to be $300, you know, $455, $57, $50, some even higher than that, just to rent it per day. That's not including the miles. And then what happened, they capped you off at the miles. So now they're capping your potential revenue on the amount you can make because they're capping you on the miles. And trucking is all about the miles, right? So then people start going to companies, I won't say company's name, but and start trying to buy the truck, right? A and the company, they didn't have any trucks to sell. They had some CDL box truck, but 85% were renting and didn't have a CDL. You know, this was an introduction to the business. Knew nothing about transportation. They saw videos on YouTube about box trucks with Amazon. And so now they're buying all the trucks. And so nobody can get trucks. So what happens now? You ever heard of supply and demand? Right. The demand was here, but the supply was here. You know, th there was no trucks. So what does that mean? The demand is high and the price is high. Right? So that's why I bought it as quickly as I did. Um, and and, and I, I had the idea that I would drive the truck and it would be profitable. But my consultants and my financial advisors, they knew more about me than I obviously do about me. They knew, yeah, you will drive the truck, but you got too many other things going now, Kenny. So you're not going to get in the truck right now. And I said, well, I'm going to put a driver in the truck. I said, yeah, let's look at the numbers on that. Here's what you're going to be able to pay a driver for a box truck, because here's the average of what you're going to gross a week on this truck. Is there still profit? Yes, but not a, not a lot. You know, and so my truck is now just sitting, right? And 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 I was going to sell it a lot sooner. I said, no, 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 wait, wait, let the market keep moving. And then list it. If you don't get asking price, remember I said this, hold it. Boom, sold it. Guys, that's business. And as I mentioned, big companies. We don't say nothing to them. They do it all day, every day. Most of the time, they don't even buy trucks. They lease trucks. And they sell them to you, company drivers, or owner operators. I'm sorry. Get so many miles, they sell them. Right? But semis, the market has always been what it is. Right? So that's how I knew. You buy an asset, guys. It's like stocks. You buy it low. But if you feel that this is going to, jump and you sell it high and that's what i did so for those who had the opinion that i wouldn't sell it you got to understand business you got to understand business and a lot of people are in business 
but don't know what they're doing. You got to understand business. This is bigger than trucking. This is business in general across the board. And so that's why and how I sold my box truck. Not because the business is bad. I knew what I was going to do and what I wasn't going to do currently. You know, now, will I buy another box truck? Absolutely. Will I buy another one? I don't know. You know, there's a lot of things to look at, depending on what the market does. But I'm in no hurry. I'm in no hurry. Money in the bank. And I'm not saying that bragging or cocky, but there's money in the bank. I'm in no hurry. And I'm making money. So I don't have to make a quick decision. Remember when I said early in this video, if you make a rush decision, I think I said it early in this video, the results of that in most cases are not going to be in your favor. You know, it, it, I'm in no hurry. I might get a, get a semi and put a driver in it. I might get another box truck. I might do hot shot. I might do sprint a van. I, I don't know. My team is looking at it. And when, when they tell me it's time to strike. Now, I know the first thing they're going to say is, if you're not getting a semi, then you don't need to buy anything until you are ready to drive it. I'm almost 100% sure they're going to tell me that. If you're not driving it, then you need to get a semi. Because you can pay a driver and still be really profitable. You know, and so, and I got a marketing team, guys. You know, you can say, I'm going to open up a barbecue place, but if you don't have a plan on how you're going to let people know you got a barbecue place, it, it doesn't do you any good. So you got to have a marketing plan. We have a lot of great ideas, but what is your marketing strategy? How are you going to strategically um, market your product to let people know where you are and what you're doing? Right? You got to have that. And that's that's money. You got to, that's what I said. You got to have some money. What I hate seeing is new business owners coming in trying to figure out how much money they need. I only need $5,000, man, and I can get this going. Well, that's just enough money to go out of business. Well, I got $10,000, just enough money to go out of business. You know, so you really need to do your, your research, and you really need to have a team of people with credentials who are advising you on what you do. You know, you, you got to have more than YouTube, and I'm on YouTube telling you this. Well, I'm advising you. You know, you got to do your homework. But before you start a business, you need to start on the personal side, meaning take care of your credit, take care of your money, save your money. As I mentioned, save your money. Do not save more than you can afford to save. Get rid of your debt. You know, and don't be concerned about what other people say and or think. That's that's always going to be the case. And they're going to be where they are and you're going to be where you are. So don't worry about that. Uh, and know what's going on around you as it pertains to the market. Always get a return on your investment. That's important. That's why we're doing it. Uh, and know when to buy and know when to sell. I didn't sell load up transportation. I sold a unit in which load up transportation owned. There's a difference. But is load up transportation for sale? There's no sign, but it's for sale. It's always for sale. It's business. Somebody want to buy this brand and I'll start another one tomorrow? Absolutely. It's business, not trucking, business. Surround yourself with smart, educated, diverse team. And I believe you will, man, see some success. So that is addressing why I sell the truck. I won't get the truck sold and blah, blah, blah. We did that. We made that happen. It's a good business to be in. It really is. I believe it's a better business, the box truck business, if you are driving, in my opinion. And, and, and going back to that question about who's the best dispatcher, you the dispatcher. Dispatchers are doing what you can do, and they're just looking at the load board. Some may have a better relationship here or there with a broker, but a lot of times the broker's loads are right there on the load board. So, you know, and if you see some on the load board that's been sitting there, I guarantee you, They'll work with a new authority because it's got to go, right? As long as your business is structured properly and you got the right information, the right insurance, they'll give you the load. All right, my opinion. Okay, let's see what else do I have over here. I'm getting long winded. We're already over 20 minutes. I'm gonna wrap this up here. I wanted to address some of the uh, questions and our concerns and comments. Let me see. 
Yeah, I, I think I've addressed most of it. <sighs> Let me say this in closing, guys. Trucking business is, a, is not hard. There's a lot of people who make it hard. It's not a hard business. But remember what I said, it's not a hard business. It's a business. Treat it as such. But trucking is just moving freight from point A to point B. There's no in-between. That's trucking. You know, got some freight over here, but it needs to be over there. I need you to move it. Here's what I'm going to pay you to move it. Now, the difference is I don't let them tell me what they're going to pay me. I'm going to tell them what I will run it for. If they say, no, cool, I'll move on to somebody else. My business, I make moves on what's benefiting my business, and that's what you've got to do. You know, so I hope some of those things that we just talked about will help you. As I said before, I see so many people have just enough money to go out of business. You need money. You may have 50 videos coming after this one saying you don't need money. Well, it's up to you um, who you decide to listen to. Hear everybody only listen with those to those with credentials, in my opinion. Did I miss anything? I don't think so. But sir, you dispensed the $250 for consultation. And you said you didn't get anything from it. Maybe you did and didn't know you did. Maybe you didn't, but you got to give me a little bit more information and I will certainly weigh in and tell you what I think because you asked me. And yeah, man, I hope that has helped. So next week I'm going to be, or this weekend, if not this weekend, maybe early next week, I got to release uh, the truck to its new rightful owner so they can go and make this money bag. That's what it's all about, man. That's what it's all about. Uh, I'm trying to think. Did I forget anything? You know, when you stop the video, you, you start thinking, man, I forgot to talk about that. But I'll get it on the next video. All right. Hopefully you had a great experience. <laughs> if so, and you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Uh, that will help us continue our path of growing the channel. And by all means, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, if you want to be notified every time I come out with a new video, you'll certainly want to hit the notification bell and hit that all button. And so every time you'll get a little ding on your phone. What else? Don't forget to hit the like button and share the video or share the channel. So we can get in front of more people. All right. I don't know if I time stamped this video. If I didn't, let me do it now. September 14th. 2021 at the time of this particular recording about 10 30 a.m eastern time i appreciate you guys so very much uncle kenny will talk to you soon make it a great day remember tough times don't last forever but tough people you always do money does not come with instructions so you got to be smart in your decision making plan or your decision making process spend your money wisely and you'll be okay be patient discipline plan that's important to any business. We'll talk to you soon. Take care.